gait less constrained than Diana as she shapes her future role, advantageous position. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, is finding herself in a better position than Princess Diana as she readies to become the next Princess of Wales. A royal commentator has noted, Kate is preparing to become the next Princess of Wales, a role she will likely take on when the Queen's reign ends and Prince Charles becomes king. And she is finding herself in a better position than her late mother-in-law was, as she still has the time to shape the role the way she thinks is best for the monarchy. Royal expert Joe Little has noted, Mr. Little, managing editor at Majesty magazine, told Express.co.uk. It's quite a difficult role to define at the moment with her husband not being the heir to the throne. William is the heir to the heir to the throne, so they are in a slightly advantageous position as they are able to adapt their roles in the way they think them appropriate and modern enough for the 21st century. William's parents were not able to do this, because the Prince of Wales was obviously much closer to the throne than William is now so they were much more constrained than William and Catherine are. So William and Catherine will be able to do things they see are the correct way to keep the royal family relevant in the 21st century, in terms of their approach to technology and to subject they regard as important and to talk about such as mental health. That's how they see their future, how they are managing to make an impact and be relevant in the modern world. Gate and Prince William embraced mental health as one of the core areas of focus of their royal work. Together with Prince Harry, in 2016 they launched Heads Together, an initiative aiming at changing the conversations surrounding mental health. Kate also joins two areas of interest for her, mental health in the early years, by working with patronages, such as Place to Be, and projects protecting and enhancing mental health for children. As noted by Mr. Little, over the past decade. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have also shown to be ready to embrace technology to reach out to the widest possible number of people. Their presence on Twitter and Instagram has become well established during the years, with Kensington Palace sharing news of the Cambridge's work and patronages together with personal pictures. Kate and William have also shared penned messages themselves on social media. Most recently Prince William spoke out against online harassment sports people are experiencing by announcing he would join the social media blackout in a tweet he signed with a W. Earlier this week, however, they also made royal history by becoming the first royal household to have its own YouTube channel. Highlighting the importance of this move, talent manager and brand expert Professor Jonathan Shallot told Vanity Fair, YouTube is the most effective media tool in the UK in terms of communicating with younger people. Most people use social media to make money but the Cambridges are using it to bring attention to their causes. It's the most effective way to do that and the team behind them know what they are doing. They don't need newspapers and traditional media as much now. Through social media they can be in control of what is being put out, and what the public sees. William and Kate have growing popular appeal. They seem to lead a regular family life, they work hard, they don't look for special treatment and that makes them very popular. When Prince Charles becomes king, Prince William will automatically inherit all his titles but the one of Prince of Wales. The future king will decide whether to bestow upon his firstborn the title of Prince of Wales, and if it happens, Kate will automatically become Princess of Wales. Constitutional expert Ian McMurthan previously told Express.co.uk, when Charles inherits the throne the Duke of Cambridge will automatically become Duke of Cornwall and Duke of Rothsay amongst other titles that are assumed by the heir to the throne. As his wife, Catherine will become Duchess of Cornwall and Rothsay. These new dukedoms will be in addition to that of Cambridge already held. He added, in the event of the Duke of Cambridge being made Prince of Wales, Catherine would automatically become Princess of Wales.